Hi there, Emma from EV Fire Safe. Uh, today we're having a look at some wrecked electric vehicles. We're in a salvage yard uh, and in front of us we've got a Volvo XC40 Recharge, so a fully electric vehicle brand new to the Australian market. So it's a, it's kind of sad to see one uh, that's been involved in a, a collision that's clearly written the car off. Um, wanted to have a quick look at this, uh, obviously from an emergency response perspective um, and talk about the identify, mobilize, isolate procedure. So if you were one of the, the, the first responders dealing with this particular incident, what would you be looking for? So identifying this vehicle, it doesn't have the number plates on anymore, but it would have had the blue EV badge. Uh, there's also some badging around the ex uh, exterior of the car. So once we've identified we're dealing with an electric vehicle, we want to pull up the emergency response guide on the ANCAP Rescue app. So if we go to ANCAP Rescue, click Agree. I've actually just, we're already in the, the Volvo section there. And we want the XC40, which is down the bottom. There we go, that one there. Now it comes in electric and uh, as an internal combustion vehicle. So we want to choose the electric one. This pulls up our, what we call a rescue card. So a short version of the emergency response guide. So you can see here, we're identifying the vehicle. Here are the identifying features that tell us that this is electric. Uh, here's how we can immobilize it. So by using the designated uh, lifting or jacking points here, we can, we can stabilize it, put the vehicle into park and actually switch it off to immobilize it. We'd also recommend things like chocking the wheels just for a bit of extra protection. But bear in mind that because it's a fully electric vehicle, we can't hear any engine noise. So you need to approach from the sides uh, in order to, to do all of these things. And then with some electric vehicles, we have uh, manual isolation. Now the Volvo and Polestar uh, vehicles that are kind of owned by the same company, uh, actually don't have a manual isolation uh, for high voltage, so things like a cut loop or a pull fuse. Uh, they, uh, but what happens is when the airbags have been deployed, which they have in this particular vehicle, the, uh, the high voltage uh, should automatically isolate. So that means all the power that was running around the car before will drain back down into that high voltage battery. Now they do, in the emergency response guide, they do talk about a manual service disconnect. Now this is a direct connection to the high voltage battery. It's not something we like emergency responders to, to touch um, because there is, a, we, you know, there is a very slight increased risk of electrocution with that. But in this particular instance, the airbags have been deployed, the pyrofuse is gone. All that power should have been isolated to the, the high voltage battery. And then we're safer to work around the vehicle. It's not going to unexpectedly move. Um, we, we, uh, if we accidentally touch some of the high voltage cables, then um, we, we have a very, very low risk of electrocution. In fact, almost negligible. So uh, under this, uh, where we've got this uh, collision that's occurred, um, underneath the bonnet here, is uh, this is what it would have looked like previously. There's a bit of a, what we sometimes call a frunk or a front part where charging cables, that kind of thing can be kept. Um, but what we wanted to show you is if you're arriving on scene to, to an incident like this, just in here, we can see the orange high voltage cables down here. Now, any cables colored orange in any type of vehicle indicates an electric vehicle uh, that's running at over 60 volts uh, DC. I think the recharge runs at about uh, 400 volts DC, which is pretty common for electric vehicles on the road. It's uh, some run up to, can go up to about 800 volts. Um, but this indicates that we're dealing with a vehicle with a high voltage system, uh, therefore it's electric, therefore pull up that emergency response guide, have a good look at it make ourselves safer around this vehicle and of course at all times make sure that we're monitoring for the early signs of thermal runaway it's highly unlikely to occur but thermal runaway a battery fire making sure that we're listening for those popping noises hissing whistling those kinds of things if we hear that then we need to get everyone clear of this vehicle very very quickly so super quick look at the erect uh, volvo xc40 recharge um, we've also got another uh, another one down the way that we'll have a, a quick look at too.